Hey everyone, this is Martina Pan and welcome to my channel. Today's video, as you can see from the title, is another thrift lip. I actually used um, one of my dad's sweaters that he's no longer using. I turned it into a three-piece cords. I just really like the fabric. So if you want to know how I made this, then please keep on watching. Today, I will be transforming the sweater into three pieces. I plan to make a cardigan, a tube top, and a mini skirt out of this. As you can see, I have so much more fabric to work with today than I did the last time I did the thrift flip. Well, that's because this is my dad's sweater, but he's no longer using it. Though, I really want to save the fabric because I really like it. Though, I'm not sure what this fabric is, but I also like the pattern of this one. To make it easier for me to cut the parts of the cardigan, I first remove the sleeves, the collars, and the buttons of the shirt. So this is the shirt turned wrong side out. As you can see, there is a gap from where the buttons came from. But that's okay because I'm going to use that for the back part of the cardigan and the other one for the front part. So I just got this blouse as a pattern for the cardigan. I just cut along and made sure that there is a seam allowance for this one. Here I folded in the sleeve so that I can also trace on that part of the blouse. So this is what it looks like after cutting the body of the cardigan. What you can see here is the front part of the cardigan. The next thing that I did was to get the midline of this body of the cardigan. This is also a nice way to check the symmetry. So this is what I did to get the neckline of the cardigan. I first got the midline. Then I measured around 7.5 inches diagonally to the inner shoulder of the cardigan. This is just a personal preference, so I just did the same on the other side. Then I just cut along that V neckline, and then cut along the middle of the cardigan which will be the opening part. Moving on to the back part, I just got this extra fabric to fill in the gap. In this way, the back part will have three panels. So moving on to the sleeves, I just cut along the pattern once again and made two of them. Now the parts of the cardigan are already complete so we are now ready to sew everything together and just hem it all at once afterwards. I first worked on the sides of the cardigan sewing it together right sides facing each other. Make sure not to get the part where you will connect the sleeves. Don't forget to lock your stitches. After the sides, I went ahead and did the back part of the cardigan. So I did the same as I did with the sides, making sure that the right sides are facing each other. Don't forget also to lock your stitches at the start. So before I attach the sleeves, I made sure to sew this together first. The next step is to attach the sleeve. Since this is my first time working on sleeves, I made sure to put pins first along these sides of the cardigan. So this is how it looks like pinned together. Now it's time to sew the sleeves of the cardigan. So 
this is how it looks like when a sleeve is attached. So the next thing to do is to hem the sides of the cardigan already. But honestly, before I started with the hem, I first got the excess fabric because this is quite thick. Because I have got all the excess fabric, it is neater and easier to hem this way. So I just went along and hemmed all the sides of this cardigan. So at the last minute, I thought of adding buttons to this cardigan, although I don't really intend to wear it closed, I really intend this to be an open cardigan. So I just finished this by hand and I don't really regret adding in the two buttons in front because it kind of balances the look. From one of the original sleeves, I cut around 18 cm by 35 cm rectangles for the tube top. Aside from that, I have cut an extra fabric because I want an extra room for me to move because in a weird way, this fabric stretches on one side only. As you can see here, it stretches so much more on one side than it does on the other side. So I intend to put the fabric this way at the back part of the tube top. So what I did was to sew the sides of the tube top first. After the sides of the tube top, I then attached this little piece of fabric. This piece of fabric was really helpful because it gives me so much more room to move as I wear the tube top. So to attach this, I first cut the middle of the back part of the tube top. So as you can see, this is the stretch that I was talking about. So I just attached everything together, making sure that the right sides are facing each other as always. I think I say this all the time, but don't forget to lock your stitches. After that, I went ahead and hemmed the sides of the tube top. For the skirt, I used an old one for a pattern. Although I don't really intend to follow the length of this skirt, I really just like the fit. So here once again, I have saved the original hem of the shirt, that's really a life hack. So next is to cut the same for the back part. And now we already have the fabric for the skirt. The next thing to do is to sew this together, right sides facing each other. sewing the sides together, all that's left to do is to hem the waistline of the skirt. Before hemming though, I first cut any excess fabric so that it's neater.
So I just pinned along the waistline before hemming and if you notice I didn't use any garters anymore because aside from the fact that I don't really have one during that time, I also think that the fabric is stretchable enough to already fit me. Okay, so this will be the last reminder to always lock your stitches. 